guys, it's Sonia from Drug Monkey Paint Company. How are you? Happy Tuesday to everybody out there who is watching live right now. And even if you're watching on replay, that's okay. I'm just glad that you are here and hopefully you get your dose of paint inspiration for the day. So um, I have been happy painting in my studio today. It's always that time of the day that I love to turn my camera on. We DIY here on our page Monday through Friday live. So even if you get home at the end of the day, check for our page right here on Facebook and be like, hmm, Gotta see what Sonya is up to today, right? So today I'm going to show you um, just how to make a really quick, simple, easy sign, all right? And so, true story that I like to be able to do things on a budget. Hello, Rita Top fan, how are ya? Hey, Loria. So uh, I like to be able to do things cute, on a budget, and uh, yeah, you know, just be able to do some shabby lovin's, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Anna Banana, hey, Terrell. Hello, Matt Miller. Are you on here with me? Oh my gosh. Why Everybody say, say hello to Matt. Why'd you say my name? I don't know. Don't Matt's in the room. I think he wanted to be that international man of mystery. Anyway, it's all out now. Can't have what's inside. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Angela, you need more paint. Girl, what have you been up to? All right, so everybody needs more paint, right? Paint makes the world go round. So true story, I'm gonna do a sign today. Hopefully it'll inspire you guys to make some signs. This is a sign that uh, I've made a few times for my shop and people love it every single time. So I make more because it's just cute and simple. And so this is an idea, like if you're thinking about, you know, gifts that you have throughout the year to be able to give to people coming up in the fourth quarter of the year, you know what I'm saying without saying it. Yep, so, so you know. Get ahead right now and you can do some amazing gifts. I think it's awesome when you do things handmade as well, especially when it comes to wooden signs. Like I will take, anybody else agree with me? I will take a handmade painted sign any day of the week over one that like, you know, comes that is just a picture that has been glued on a plank of wood. You know what I'm saying? Because it gives character and texture and it just creates like such, such amazing warmth in a space. And so anyway, this is really, really super cheap. I'm gonna put the camera down and walk you guys through it. Hello, Rochelle, how are you? Thank you for being here, all my top fans. There's a reason you guys are top fans. It's because you're so awesome. Emily, who came all the way from Ohio and came to spend some time with me uh, over with her mom. Hello, shout out to you guys today. Can you feel the love? So, okay, have you been to your local Walmart craft section lately? If you're like, no, I haven't been there, I'm just gonna tell you, like Walmart's been stepping up their game. And so I have been finding these little planks for like $2.94. $2.94. Where can you get and what can you make for $2.94, okay? Now, true story, if somebody says, I can make that, I know you can make that. And if you wanna make that, you can totally make it. But if you wanna pay for convenience for $2.94, you can do that too, right? That's the most awesome thing that we can do. So, if you wanna make these yourself, go get a very, very light wood from like a Lowe's or scrap wood or something like that. You don't want it to be too, too heavy. This is really, really thin. All right, and then if you see on the back, all you need is a stapler and some, you can use ribbon, you can use like torn fabric, you can use anything that's gonna, you know, hold on and that you can staple through one side. I would probably glue it and then staple it over. You know what I'm saying? And then if I had a piece of new wood, like this is what I call brownie frowny right now, okay? So, you know, I'm gonna jazz it up and make it look all cute and shabby and time worn and make use of this brownie frowny because there is a time when things should be brownie frowny and it's when you get to see that brown coming through some beautiful top color and it makes things look really antiqued, right? But if you can find new wood like this, you don't even have to go buy something like this because all you would have to do is use our brown glaze, okay? Put the brown glaze on over the new wood and it shows your wood up just like that. If you want to use black, it will give you a black look underneath as well and it shows all the veins and just the beautiful characteristics of the wood, okay? So you know you can make this to get to this step or if you want, save yourself some time head to Walmart and pick a bunch of these up, okay? So, but I don't wanna leave it brownie frowny, okay? As much as it's, it's, it's cool, I just know my style and I wanna go a little bit different. So I am going to grab my antique lace right here, which is the off-white color. I'm gonna stir it up just a little bit and take my shabby chip brush right here, my favorite partner in crime for all things time-worn and gorgeous. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe over with it and do a dry brush, okay? So I'm gonna let some of that brown come through, but not everybody wants all brown furniture, right? Some people just wanna have some color, maybe they wanna turn it to like a farmhouse style or a rustic style, whatever you wanna call it, just like it's been around for a while. So 
I am just using our antique lace. This is our chalky style paint. It's already the pre-made. Basically, grab a brush and go bananas. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just put it all over that brownie frowny little thing, okay? That barely used any paint. Matt, I think you can do this even. Mm. What do you think? Are you feeling confident after seeing that? Yeah. What do you mean no? Because I didn't see it. What do you mean? Because I'm like- You're my live studio I'm, audience. I'm taking care of stuff. Come on, come on now. All right. Take it soon. You're taking care of things. Taking all right. care of things. There you go. You see that? Look at this. Yes, Mary Ellen, just make sure you seal it. That's all, if you're gonna put it out because Mother Nature is a beast, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, do you see all I did? This is antique lace, off-white, a dry brush over a plank that was brown. You can make any plank brown. You can do this as well, guys. Like say, for example, you want a uh, shiplap style wall, right? Or whatever you want to call it, a panel looking wood wall, but you want it more whitewashed. You could even do something like this with all you would do is go ahead and use your brown glaze down first. It'll stain the wood. And then from there, and the nice thing is our brown glaze here, it's water blaze water base it's not going to stick your fingers together it doesn't stink or anything like that it's really easy to use and clean up it goes so far right um but yeah and then put your color over it right so i'm already loving that right now I, i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving it did you see my um heat gun is it on the other side of the table really so what's everybody up to today do tell Teresa, um you're not getting notifications because facebook has changed because we didn't send them out yeah we don't want to go to facebook jail yeah facebook's working through some things and making it a little bit different on the user end for what's called chat bots, which is the live alert system. So stay tuned, more to come on that. But what you need to know is every day I show up live in the afternoons here painting something with you guys. So make sure you uh, just stay in touch. We don't have Facebook to buckle the bellas. <laughs> it puts the bot in the basket oh, or else it gets funny. the hose again. That's cute, right? Like that? Yeah, you know, listen guys, if you even made a wreath, you could even get just planks of wood and do this with and like put it in your wreath, you know what I mean? So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab a word to put on it. This could be anything. This could be, you could put a rooster on it, a chicken on it, whatever you wanna put on it. I'm grabbing in, of course, you guys know, into my, one of my many um, stencil books. And if you wanna get a stencil book, I've got you all, all hooked up. If you go to junkmonkeypaint.com and click Sonia's favorite things, you will find this book linked in there, okay? I think it's all of $15. It's not a break break the bank kind of thing, but I tell you what it will do is preserve your stencils so that way, you know, when you do buy stuff, it lays flat, it's protected, and this was one of, oh, look, I got a welcome there. I could use that. Um, I'm gonna hold this out for a second. But yeah, you can definitely, you know, preserve them, right? So for me, I like to get my stencils from all over, like this is a Mr. and Mrs. But this one here that I'm going after today is a Hobby Lobby one. So if you wanna get that book to preserve your stencils, go over to Junk Monkey Paint, click Sonia's favorite things, and you'll find the link there. I'll turn it this way so you guys can see it. So you, you see what it says? The stencils in the book. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. And you know what, yes, we will do a giveaway today. So share, share, share. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll have Matt pick a winner. Somebody who's hanging out and being chatty with us today as a thank you for sharing the video and for your moral support as I paint and DIY here. And uh, so there you go. And maybe I'll have one more giveaway too. But yeah, that would be so awesome. Share the junk monkey love. There you go. They do not. You're in luck. So here we go. We got our bliss, right? So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. What are you giggling at? No, you're the. I can't see the comments very she well. You just right said now. you're a blessed woman. I am a blessed woman. You see, you know, now you know why the sun keeps uh, selling, right? Because apparently there are a lot more blessed women out there too. No, 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 no. Sonia just discovered her love of Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter. Oh, so. This is true, guys. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just egging her. So I was coming back from Canada. I love to listen to podcasts. Anybody else out there? And I found this podcast that I was listening to, and it was talking about how um, sound effects were being made and how sound, you know, when we listen to it, like, makes us scared and all that sort of stuff. And I found that really interesting. But one of the people that they were interviewing did the music for Silence of the Lambs. And they talked about how when they made their music, they didn't use, like, traditional instruments or anything. They were going for weirdness. And anyway, I was listening to the creepy music and I realized I have not seen this movie. And apparently, like, 
you know, everybody has else as. And so I'm like, I am going to watch this. So I kid you not, the first day I got home, we got home late, late Sunday morning. And uh, so Sunday, you know, when you're just exhausted from traveling, I put on that movie. Okay, so every night since, now I've learned that there are like, what do you call them? Is it prequels? Yeah, sequels? There's, like four movies. there's a bunch, okay? There's four movies. So I have the last one to watch tonight, all right? So yeah. Now I know what everybody's been talking about. And last I know, night. I don't know if I can do another one tonight. Well, you have to oh, watch no. Mindhunter, too, which came out in 86. That was filmed in Pittsburgh. Yeah, there are, no, no. Mindhunter is the actual series, the movie. Oh, I didn't From see 1986, it. which was like before Silence of the Lambs. Ooh. No, I have to go watch that, too. So, yes. So, yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch scary movies growing up in my house. And uh, there's lots of movies that Matt's introduced me to because he likes scary movies, right? Well, me, <laughs> me, okay, can I tell you the truth, guys? I was scared to go to the bathroom last night. I did not want to walk in front of any of the windows. And Matt was asleep and the lights were off. And I'm like, I can hold it till morning because I was scared, all right? And uh, before I did go to bed, I actually, like, double locked all the doors and... Matt yeah. noticed it this morning, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, the scariest thing where we live is me, so I don't know what to do. I know, I'm good. Listen, I live with Matt, okay? He's a Marine, and he's going to, uh, if anybody feels safe and secure, it's me, all right? But, you know what? After that movie last night, oh my gosh, I was like, I don't know, I couldn't deal with it. So, yeah, Matt woke up this morning. You watched Red Dragon. I did. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> scared. Listen, I am the person that's scared, guys. I will park in my parking lot and message Matt because we live out in the middle of nowhere where there's no street lights and be like, Matt, I need you to watch me walk from the car to the house, okay? So this is not going to be good this week, people, because now Matt's going to have to escort me. Like She's going to be a total pain in my butt. What? You listen, are when you do that. Listen, you are a blessed man. She watches these you are movies a blessed and man. then I have to like hold her hand everywhere she goes. Oh, man. I like to be scared. And tis the season to be scared. It's fall. Come on, people now, right? But, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Was that scary. So, guys, I got to tell you. You saw what I did, right? Antique lace over brownie frowny. This is our black velvet. And one thing that I love about our paint is, because as you know, our paint line has grown, but it was all based on matte working with me to be able to create a paint that I like to be able to paint with. And for me, who loves to stencil, I like to be able to not have bleed through, okay? So if you do it with a very light layer, the nice thing about our paint is with the consistency, do you see that? Like, it's like awesome, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right? Yeah, scared. Yeah. I'm a blessed man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna switch this around so you guys can actually see this and um, you know you don't do scary movies mm -hmm. I don't by myself like I have to have people in the house because I will scare myself to death and um, oh it's it's you know it's not good right you know what I'm saying it is good but it's not not when you're by yourself there you go can you guys see this now yay all hey, right hello Doreen from Newfoundland so now what I'm gonna do is grab one of my sand blocks if you follow me over on my vlog, you know on YouTube. The entire land of Canada is watching. Yay! Well, Our now I feel like I didn't from, go too far from home, right? Our land from Nova Scotia. Oh, can we just talk about that yumminess right there, people? Oh, man, man. Oh, it's so good. All right, so I am doing some distressing now with my sand block. I like to use a medium grit sand block. They're on my website, so if you're picking up paint, if you want to use the same sand blocks that I do, you'll find them listed over there. But I want to do some more distressing, so this is what I do. And guys, I save my sand blocks, okay? Like, if you, I think last week, not last week, it would have been the last week before I went to Canada. On my vlog, I talked about how I reuse these and why I reuse them, so I have a stash behind me. Um, so, yeah, right? So go watch that. It'll give you some good tips. I'm going to just do a few little brush overs of the blessed part as well. Look at that. Who loves that so far, all right? We have, now, we go for the eyeliner effect, though. Right. We have Hello, two, Michigan. We have two weights. Uh, this is antique lace. It's the off white. Yep. And then we have vintage white, which is uh, like a pure white. Classic so. white. Yep, you got it. Oh my gosh, who saw that um, hutch that um, I think it was Edna I put up last night? So beautiful. So guys, you know I like to balance my pieces. So if I, whatever color I'm going to okay. use in here, I want to make sure that I carry it over somewhere else. Okay, so I've got brown, I've got antique lace, and I've got my black velvet. So what I'm going to do is take my shabby chip brush 
And now I'm going to just basically antique my edges, okay? And how I do this is I put my brush like on an angle, okay? Like on an angle, you know what I'm saying? And pull it around. Where to find Matt cooking and can't find it on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Facebook Live, isn't it? We did a Facebook Live when we were in Canada, and then we also recorded one. Matt actually made some amazing uh, roast beef, beef sandwiches. Roast beef sandwiches, man. Can't live without roast beef sandwiches. Um, but anyway, it's going to be up on uh, the vlog probably on um, Friday because we're editing it. And, uh, we didn't record the homemade noodles thing. The what? Homemade noodles. When you made noodles, yeah. I, I can't remember. I should do that. That's pretty easy. You can make noodles, egg noodles. And he like makes all kinds. Listen, I DIY with like wooden paint. He DIYs with noodles, okay? With flour and egg and I don't know. He just does this thing, all right? So, yeah. Jane wants to know how long do you nice use the sand block before you renew it? Before I renew it? Is that what she said? Mm -hmm. So if I need something that's really going to rip off right now, I'm going to make sure I pull out a brand new one. If I'm doing something like I'm doing right now, which is, you know, just giving some uh, antiquing to it and I just want to distress a little bit, I will keep using that till the cows come home. And did you know you can wash it? You can also wash those sand blocks. Make sure you watch my vlog so you don't miss any of that good stuff. Karen Guys, says, awesome. FYI, did Matt say he made holy ski when he can? If so, how was it? That was the uh, the sausage. That was it, noodles, yeah. yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. Was that the night we had mashed potatoes too? No, we had dumplings. Oh, we had dumplings and mashed potatoes. Listen, yeah. we had starch. We had the Western Pennsylvania double starch. Oh, it was so good though. It was so good. Haluski, Haluski and double. I put sausage in the Haluski. All right, so now we're going to dry those edges. And guys, seriously. How easy is this? Like, so awesome. And now we can go ahead, we can do a quick seal onto it. So I'm gonna grab my Munka Shine, which is our all natural beeswax polish. Let me find it over here. So when I uh, do wax, what I use is the Monkey Shine. And I'm gonna tell you that much like our paint, it is made with our own recipe, okay? So you're gonna find it very different and uh, in a good way, okay? So here we go. We're gonna put some on. You're gonna need your wax brush and also you're gonna need a buffing cloth, all right? So you can find all those on the website. And now I'm gonna dip into it and let's go. Let's see if you can tell the difference when I do this or not. This is always like one of the fun parts, you know what I'm saying? Can you see the part? I always wonder if the camera picks this stuff up where you can see where it's been done and where it hasn't been done. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Anybody see the line? line in the sand and what it does is it's really just going to sharpen those colors and um, make it pop plus it puts a seal onto it because when you wax it plugs off all the holes of our chalky style paint okay so that way nothing can get down in there it protects like from staining and water and all that sort of stuff and I'm gonna tell you I get so many I've got now waxy hands I get so many projects out of one of these it is the most rich, luscious awesomeness in a can. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yes, I saw that everybody's, it must be a junk monkey day. Everybody's like junk monkey all across Facebook. It is so amazing to see. And I love seeing all your projects that you guys have been posting in the Junk Monkey Paint Projects page on Facebook. We have like 3,000 people painting in there right now. It's crazy. And what's cool is that you can get inspiration there, see colors at work and uh, just be part of a bigger community, right? Because, you know, you either get it or you don't, but let me just tell you that paint is therapy, art is therapy, and um, if you can bless some people in your life this upcoming season with maybe um, just some cute little signs, because remember, two ninety seven dollars for this or DIY it yourself, I put a little bit of paint, which is honestly like maybe like not even a teaspoon of paint over the top of this, distressed it, added a little bit of uh, paint right here. And the cool thing is when you use our paint, because it sticks to pretty much anything under the sun, you can find all kinds of surfaces. You could do it on like ceramics, you could do it on like fake wood, real wood, glass, you name it. Um, but this could be beautiful, right? Imagine if you even tied on like a little bit, maybe over right here, tied on a little bit like of some uh, ripped rag fabric or something like that. I think that would be beautiful. You could put a posy on it. What would you guys do with it? You could put it in a wreath, like this one's not big enough, but you'll get the idea. You know how when you make big wreaths, you can do signs like this and you can like kind of like, actually that, that does really work kind of cool, doesn't it? You can put it across a wreath or something like that, um, or just even stage it, you know what I mean? 
just stage it and put it on your mantle. And you can find boards that are all different sizes. So if you want a giant, massive, big, beautiful sign to be a statement piece on top of your mantle this season, tis the season to get all cozy because we start to spend more time inside and spend just, you know, time working on our homes. And, um, you know, like I'm getting ready to paint my bedroom walls. Matt, cover your ears. This really? weekend, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, I Thanks think I'm, for letting me know. Yeah, I didn't tell you, but I think I'm going to do like a concrete style finish. I got, I got I stuff see to it. do this weekend. You realize that, That's right? fine. Actually, it's... It's better when he leaves. You know what I'm saying? Because he just comes home. Well, then why do like, you ask me to help all the time? Okay, then you're all, don't worry. You just leave, walk away, and uh, you're just going to have to be happy with it when you come back, right? I don't care. Just leave me alone. I know you don't care. Men don't care. Most men don't, right? This is why I love you. You leave me to my own, um, you know, happiness. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So I am loving that. Hey, do you have a winner for me, Matt? I have a winner. He's supposed to be working and giving me a winner, right? Come on now. Winner, winner, winner chicken dinner. All right. The winner is yes. Renee yes. Ringold Edwards. Renee Ringold Edwards, if you are here. Matt has jet lag. <laughs> Sorry, did I like laugh like a crazy woman? <laughs> yeah, right? So yeah, I love that, guys. Look how cute that is. You know, take that, do it on a bigger piece. Um, you know, do a nice big art piece. I'll show you something I was working on today is just a little bit earlier. I was taking, drinking my Dr. Pepper and working on this. I was throwing some Junk Monkey on canvas, doing some, you guys know behind me that I love to do um, shabby art. I love it. I love it. Can you see kind of behind me some of them? I'm going to be having an art sale probably like in the week now that I'm back in town in Pennsylvania. But um, I have a speed lapse video coming up if you want to watch me paint this in a little bit. And these, can you recognize the colors? Bahama Jade, uh, Don't Make Me Blush, Red Apple, Lucky Clover, um, Antique Lace. And so you can watch that video, but once it's up in a few hours, if anybody wants to go in there as well for a second chance to win some Junk Monkey today, I would love it if you would hit share in that video. And I will come in tonight before midnight Eastern Standard Time and tag you, tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey girl, thanks for the support. And uh, I'm going to get you back and give you a $20 coupon to shop at JumpMonkeyPaint.com. So watch for lots more stuff to come because now as we turn inward, guys, I've got lots of furniture coming. i got to get ready for uh, Fort Ligonier Days. Oh, no, I did not. Um, so, Renee, make sure you email us at JumpMonkeyPaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, or you turn into a pumpkin girl. Hello, you know Teresa. Saying? You, sound, you said hello, Teresa. That sounded like hello, Clarice. Yeah, but you know what? He never actually said that in the movie. I'm pretty sure he no, did. No, everybody thinks they did. He no, did. The I only one, The only person that said hello, Clarice, in the entire movie, Yeah. in the entire series, Yeah. was actually Barney. Really? Yeah. That's, I don't know. I'm feeling like thing. an expert on this yeah, movie yeah, yeah. now. That I've watched three in like a three-day time span. He always says hello, Agent <clears throat> Starling, or Agent Story. So, Where did that come from? Or when he writes, he writes my dearest Clarice, right? Dude. But it's it's a well known fact. Everybody says it. The only one that says hello, Clarice. Yes, right? like you just said it. Is uh, is Barney, and he says hi, hello, Clarice. What do you call those? Anthony Hopkins never actually says Mandela effect. Yeah. He says Clarice in there, but he doesn't. He never says hello, Clarice. That's big... What do you think, guys? <laughs> Is that a challenge? Do I need to go watch all the movies all oh over God. again? Tonight we're going to watch sit. Hannibal Rise. I don't know if I can sit through another one right now. I'm What's that? Serious. That's okay. okay. Yeah. You can go get yourself some beer or something. I'll just be like yeah. laying on the couch Netflixing out. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. There you because go. You'll be like, Somebody disagrees with you. So, just saying. So you'll be like, he said, hello, Clarice on the phone, Marie says. He, I'm telling you, go look it up. I he feel like he actually. said it. But if he didn't, it's definitely the Mandela effect. You know when you like believe things happen or you think things happen and everybody remembers it happening, but did it really happen, right? So maybe it was a time shift. I don't know. Okay, well, hang on. I'll tell you right now whether it did or not. Okay, you're going to Google it? Yay. He, love it, love it, love it. He did He did say it in um, Hannibal in 2001 mm -hmm. because so many people said in Silence of the Lamb, mistaken it in Silence of the Lamb. It was never said in Silence of the Lamb. Actually, so Matt is editing to say that it was, he never said it in Silence of the yeah. Lamb, not just he never said it overall, right? Yes. All right. You know what I'm saying? See? Anyway. Look at Mandela Effect. Yes! Told See? you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right? Yes. 
Actually, Hello Clarice on the phone was edited five years after the movie came out because so many people say Hello Clarice. Really? It was edited into the movie. Yeah, like I didn't even see the movies, but I just always Five that years phrase. after the movie was released, it yes. was edited into the movie. There you go. You are very welcome, Kimberly. So, yay to the yeah. winner today. And uh, so, yes, that's what I'll be doing tonight. There you go. All right. Who else is going to watch it with me and be scared to death? All right. I am blessed with an amazing hubby. There you go. He loves me so much he's going to sit and watch the fourth movie with me tonight. Mm. All right. Dad ahead got it wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to jump off of here. Um, but, yeah, so tonight is Tuesday, which means on Tuesdays I upload a new vlog. So go watch me and follow me over on um, Junk Monkey Paint Company on YouTube. If you just want to hang out with us crazy cats a little bit more, go over there. And then, like I said, in a little bit, in a few hours, you'll see the time-lapse video of uh, one of my shabby paintings being done with our paint because, did you know, Junk Monkey Paint is acrylic base, which makes it beautiful for artists like us. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, they're yeah. talking about Joanne said Hannibal TV series was filmed oh, I didn't see near that. her house. Actually, Silence of the Lambs, the Buffalo Bill yes. house is just down the road from us. Yes, with the well in the bottom of the basement. Yes. Oh, man, that's scary stuff. That's scary <laughs> stuff. i got to watch it when you're at home, though. You it's are going to be home tonight, right? Anybody wants to buy it. Yeah, I won't be me. They want $320,000 for it. The actual house, if you were to buy it, yeah. it would only be worth like 50000 in this area. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. All right, you guys take care. I'll see yeah. you again tomorrow. Remember, we DIY here every afternoon, Monday through Friday. Oh. Let's see what we can get into tomorrow. Although I already know I'm staring at it on the floor. True story, somebody left it outside my shop. What is it? Because sometimes people give me these random brownie frowny things, and I was quite happy to see it. So tomorrow we will DIY together, and uh, it's going to be awesome. All right. Goodbye, boo, Clarice. Boo back at you, Martha. Did you say goodbye, Clarice? Yeah. See you guys. Bye.